So we all learned about the planets when we were in school, but if you don't deal with them every day, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to remember the order that they're in. Our first planet is Mercury, which is currently our smallest planet. Next we have Venus. That happens to be our sister planet because it's very similar in size to the Earth, but it's also the hottest planet even though it's a second from the Sun. Third, we have our own home, Earth. Fourth, we have Mars, which is about one and a half times farther away from the Sun. Maybe the next place that humans inhabit in the solar system. Currently, Jupiter still holds the record for the most number of moons in the solar system, which right now is at 63. Saturn is probably the most well-known planet at about 10 times the Earth's sun distance, known very well for its rings. At about 20 times the Earth's sun distance, we now come to the first cold outer planet, Uranus. It happens to rotate on its side. At about 30 times the Earth's sun distance, we have Neptune. And depending on which solar system model you enjoy the most, you can either end your solar system there or you can go to our ninth planet, which is Pluto, which orbits at about 40 times the Earth's sun distance. So if you can't remember that order, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, you can use the mnemonic, my very eager mother just served us nine pizzas. Now, if you don't like Pluto as a planet now, then you can change the mnemonic slightly and make it my very eager mother just served us nachos. <laughs>